Okay, I am going to attempt to explain how you make this swirl candy pattern for the popular afghan that is going around. This is not the pattern from Red Heart. This is from Leisure Arts. It is a paid pattern, but I do not know how much it is. I added some sparkle yarn to mine so you could see. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the video, but just to make it a little more festive for the Christmas holiday. Okay, here we go. Of course, get your yarn started on your hook. The pattern calls for 14 chains done very loosely, and that is important, and you'll see later why. So we'll chain 14 loose. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then it says to single crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. Now you have just created the loop right here. And that's going to be important because that's where you will go into to change all of your colors. Each time you need to change from red to white, you'll go right into that loop that you just created right here. Okay, so the next chain, the sixth chain from your hook, is going to call for a half double. The next chain, a double crochet in the next chain. Oops, let me correct that. So a full double in the next chain. Okay, in the next chain over, you're going to do two doubles. One, two in that same chain. And then the next chain, one single double in there. Just one double in that one. Okay. The following chain, it says to do two triples in the next chain. One, In the next chain, it says do one triple. And this curling up, it's normal. It'll straighten out as you add more rows. Okay. Now, the pattern calls for a cluster. You start this cluster in the next three chains. And you start it off just like you would a triple. And you go into the very next chain, but you don't finish the stitch. You do one, and you do two pull-throughs. And you should have two yarns on your hook. Wrap it twice. Go into the next chain over. Pull through there. And just pull through two loops. Yarn over one more time and go in the last chain. Pull through the chain. And now it says pull through two loops five times. So we just pull through. There's two loops. One. Two more. Two. Two more. Three. Two more. Four. Two more, five, chain one, and turn your work. Okay? You should have ten chains at the top of this. And we do. We've got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then there's that loop. Okay, 
Okay, then it says single crochet all the way back down to get to your loop. So we're going to single crochet in both loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's very important that you count. Seven, eight, nine. And that last one's really kind of difficult to find. Ten. Okay, that's your first stripe. Now, changing the color. I take my red yarn, this loose yarn here, and I just lay it over to the back and get it out of the way. Just lay it over here out of the way. And I will start my white yarn around the end. And you just loop it, stick your yarn, your needle, through the loop we created and latch your white. Okay, and pull it through there and then pull it through that last loop and then chain one. I'll go ahead and grab two of these yarns just for my chain to help fasten it off a little better, but then you can just drop it. Okay, so after you chain your one, you turn your work, and this right here needs to be pulled to tighten not sure it's going to show. Tighten that up. Cinch your, your, your work up. Because you're still only going to want 10 loops. 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is the 10th loop. The first loop you're going to work back into with your white. But you're going to work into the back loop only. That creates these um, divisions right here. This little up, up. I don't know if you can tell, if you can see what that does by working in that back loop. 